Ever wondered what would happen if light could be manipulated to create a black hole? In the vast expanses of theoretical physics and science fiction, such a concept is not only intriguing but also sparks a flurry of questions about the fundamental nature of light and gravity. Light, as we understand it, typically travels in straight lines across the cosmos. But when it encounters the mighty gravitational pull of a black hole, it can be bent or even trapped in orbit, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. And black holes? They're regions in space-time with such potent gravitational effects that nothing, not even particles or light itself, can escape their clutches. By distorting space-time, a sufficiently compact mass can, as per the theory of general relativity, form a black hole. Now imagine if we could rotate light in a continuous loop. The possibilities are fascinating, aren't they? Join on this journey into the realms of science fiction and theoretical physics. Light, as we know, travels in straight lines, but what happens when it encounters a strong gravitational field? Let's dive into the intriguing world of light and its fascinating attributes. Light, or more scientifically, photons, are packets of energy that travel at an incredible speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second. They're the fastest things in the universe and they zip through space like they're on a cosmic highway. Yet even these speedy particles are not immune to the forces of gravity. When light passes near a massive object, like a planet or a star, it doesn't continue in a straight line. Instead, it curves, bending around the object. This phenomenon is known as gravitational lensing, a prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. Think of it like this. Imagine a marble rolling along a flat table. It would continue in a straight line, right? Now imagine putting a heavy bowling ball in the middle of the table. The table sags under the weight of the bowling ball, creating a dip or a curve. If you roll the marble again, it won't go straight. It'll curve around the bowling ball following the indentation in the table. That's a simplified version of how gravity works. And it's what happens to light near a massive object. The object dents space-time and the light follows the curve of that dent. But what about black holes? These cosmic entities are regions in space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. When light comes too close to a black hole, it gets trapped, spiraling inwards and never coming out. This is why black holes are black. They don't allow light to escape, so we can't see anything inside them. So it's clear that light can be bent and even trapped by powerful gravitational fields. But can it create such a field? Well, that's where we step into the realm of the hypothetical, where we uh, stretch the boundaries of our understanding and delve into the realms of the unknown. Imagine for a moment light rotating in a continuous loop, much like a photon sphere. You've probably heard about light traveling in straight lines, but what if we twist the tail a bit? What if light could be manipulated to rotate to form a continuous loop? Intriguing, isn't it? This brings us to the concept of a photon sphere, in the realm of astrophysics, a photon sphere refers to a spherical boundary of space where gravity is so intense that photons, the particles that make up light, are compelled to move in orbits. Now let's take a leap of imagination and consider a scenario where light could be spun fast enough, so fast that it forms a continuous loop. What would happen? Well, the idea is that this might create a region where the gravitational effects of the light itself could cause space-time to curve. But here's the catch. As per our current understanding of physics, photons, the particles that constitute light, don't possess rest mass. That's a fancy way of saying light doesn't weigh anything when it's not moving. It's a little counterintuitive, but that's quantum physics for you. So if light doesn't have mass, it can't create the gravitational field necessary to form a black hole. Yes, photons do carry energy, and energy can contribute to the gravitational field, but the amount of energy required would be gigantic, way beyond our capability to concentrate in a small region of space. In essence, while the concept of rotating light to create a continuous loop is fascinating, it's an idea that, with our current understanding of physics, seems to be more at home in the pages of a science fiction novel than in a physics textbook. Theoretically, rotating light might cause space-time to curve, but does it have the mass to create a gravitational field? A question that highlights how much we still have to learn about the universe. The quest for knowledge continues, and who knows what we'll discover next in the fascinating world of physics. Now, let's venture into the unknown. What if rotating light could indeed create a black hole? 
To entertain this thought, we must imagine a scenario where the energy of light becomes so concentrated that it triggers a collapse in space-time. This would be an extraordinary phenomenon requiring a paradigm shift in our current understanding of physics. Remember, light, as we know it, doesn't have rest mass, which means it can't create the gravitational field needed to form a black hole. However, photons, which are particles of light, do carry energy. And energy, as Einstein's famous equation, E equal mc2, tells us, is equivalent to mass. So, in theory, if we could somehow concentrate enough light, and therefore energy, into a small enough region of space, it might be possible to create a black hole. But the amount of energy required would be truly staggering, well beyond our current technological capabilities. Let's assume, for the sake of argument, that we somehow overcome this hurdle. What then? Well, if a continuous loop of light did indeed manage to create a black hole, it would likely be a very small one, perhaps even a micro black hole. Micro black holes are purely theoretical entities predicted by certain solutions to Einstein's field equations. They are thought to be extremely unstable, possibly evaporating almost as soon as they form through a process known as Hawking radiation. Named after the famed physicist Stephen Hawking, this radiation is due to quantum effects near the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape from a black hole. So, in this hypothetical scenario, our black hole might be incredibly short-lived. One moment it's there, the next it's gone, leaving behind only a puff of Hawking radiation. While this is a captivating thought experiment, it is currently beyond our scientific understanding. Let's remember the joy of science lies not just in the answers we find, but also in the questions we ask. So, even though the idea of creating a black hole with light remains speculative, it serves as a fascinating exploration of the limits of our knowledge and the potential for future discoveries. So, could rotating light really create a black hole? In the vast panorama of theoretical physics and imaginations, it's a thought that certainly tickles curiosity and fascination. However, as we've journeyed through this concept together, We've seen that it remains, for now, a flight of fancy, a speculation that exists beyond the boundaries of our current understanding of physics. Recall that light, despite its many unusual properties, typically travels in straight lines, undeterred in its path unless influenced by strong gravitational fields. Gravitational lensing, the bending and trapping of light, is a phenomenon we witness near black holes, regions of space-time so powerful in their gravitational pull that nothing can escape their grip. The concept of rotating light in a perpetual loop, forming a photon sphere of sorts, is indeed intriguing. But we must remember that light, as we currently understand it, lacks the rest mass necessary to produce a gravitational field potent enough to form a black hole. The energy required for such an event is beyond our capacity to harness or concentrate in a small region of space. Now, if we were to entertain this hypothetical scenario, where the energy of rotating light somehow becomes concentrated enough to cause a collapse in space-time, we're venturing into uncharted territory. We're envisioning a black hole, possibly a micro-black hole, birthed from a continuous loop of light. However, the stability of such a creation is debatable, as theoretical models suggest that micro-black holes could evaporate quickly via Hawking radiation. So, while the idea of creating a black hole by rotating light is a captivating thought experiment, it remains an unproven hypothesis. The exploration of such concepts, though, is no less valuable. It challenges us, it pushes the boundaries of our understanding, and it fuels the quest for new discoveries in the limitless expanse of the universe.